I think I'll take an egg. Make us a couple eggs. I'm doing it. You told me. He don't want one. You and Tony Egg again. Tony Egg. Tony B. Hey guys, today in this video we're going to be hearing from Sopranos creators and writer David Chase and Terry Winter on the significance of the symbolism of eggs and mayonnaise. Now this seems to be a big deal. Steve Sharippa, Bobby, he asked David twice about this and he also asked Terry. But before I show you those clips guys, I really looked into this one and Steve's right. Eggs or mayonnaise are referenced and shown a lot and there's definitely something with that I'm not gonna get into that in this video but there's something with the eggs and mayonnaise I believe now as you see from the title and from the clips coming up it's confirmed David and Terry both say it holds no significance and they say some other things about it as well so I dug through every episode and I think I found every eggs and mayonnaise scene. So I put it together in a funny, uh, perfect compilation for you later in this video. If you want to skip ahead to that, I left uh, the timestamp in the description. But first, here's a quick list of all the episodes where it shows up. It's 35 different episodes. And here are some facts based upon my research. Eggs, specifically, show up or are talked about way more than mayonnaise. I was only able to find four instances of mayonnaise. In total, though, they're in the show with 35 different episodes. Both of them. And now, out of those 35, I found that seven of those episodes, eggs or mayonnaise, show up twice. And the one episode out of those 35 it shows up three times the most and that's from season four episode one titled for all debts public or private that's a good episode now later in the clips you'll see i didn't include every scene where mayo specifically is briefly shown in the sopranos house in the kitchen you know they're, they're eating a sandwich or something real quick and i see the mayo on the counter that's not really worth showing, that doesn't count to me. There's also a couple scenes, for instance, where Tony's eating his bialy or a sandwich, and it could have had eggs or mayo in it, but that doesn't count either, so I left those out. But every other scene you'll see is straight up eggs or mayonnaise. Now, give you a visual picture of all this, I've broken it down to multiple categories. First, we got multiple characters offering eggs course cooking eggs eating eggs talking about eggs in different contexts broken eggs we see a few scenes of broken eggs the dish egg salad offering eggplant Tony's mother offers him a few times then we got a few more than a few peppers and eggs steak and eggs steak and eggplant Salami and eggs, and egg cream, which is a cold beverage. So those are all the egg categories in the show. And then for mayonnaise, we got mayonnaise, mayonnaise, which is most known from Tony and Pine Barrens. Then we got hold the mayo from Christopher's Dream at Satrials. Then we got light on the mayo. Assembly Zellman says that. And lastly, we got Not Enough Mayo, where Tony says that to Agent Harris. Alright, so here's what David and Terry had to say about all this. Enjoy the video, guys. Subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Is there a significance with mayonnaise on the show? Because numerous times we see mayonnaise, the uh, Pine Barrens towards the end, Tony yells, mayonnaise, mayonnaise to Paulie. Does mayonnaise mean anything? Do you love it? Do you hate it? What's mayonnaise mean? <laughs> I love mayonnaise. I, don't think, I like it. I don't think it has anything particular. Maybe it's, I don't know, there's something about mayonnaise that just seems really like white. You know? Sure. My grandmother yeah. would not have mayonnaise in her house. That was a well, huge no-no. Right. Big no-no. Right. 
Right. What significance does mayonnaise have on the show? (laughs) You know, it really doesn't have any significance other than it's funny. You know, it's almost, I hate to get go like, even like, you know, words with a K are funny. Pickle is a funny word. It's, it, it's just a funny thing. And, you know, here's the thing too. When Paulie's got the mayonnaise on his chin yeah. and Tony says, mayonnaise, mayonnaise. If, uh, seriously, if he said you got mustard on your chin, mustard, it, it's just not as funny. I don't know why. It's just funny. Um, <laughs> I don't know where else. I'm assuming mayonnaise appears. There was a few other way. spots. All right. So, uh, I think what about it. eggs? What's the significance of eggs? I, I don't know that there is one. I, I think well, Ralphie was making eggs. Eggs pop up, right, Michael? Numerous times. Well, you yeah. Know, people have to eat, Steve. You know, <laughs> uh, uh, David, I've asked you this before. I'm going to ask you again. Mayonnaise and eggs, uh, significant. <laughs> is there any meaning there? It's all over the show. Numerous times, mayonnaise. Uh, numerous times with the eggs. <laughs> There's got to be something. <laughs> well, I, I'll have to do acid and find out again. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bonjour. Room service at REV. Oof. Why, thank you, kind sir. What? You said poached eggs. You're not going to eat them now, after all that work. I guess my eyes were bigger than my stomach. Who had the pepper and eggs? Oh, over here. Peppers and eggs? That's what I should have had. Well, then I don't want his brother. They'll handle it. Mellows me a solid. No, no hired help. It's just personal. I'm making breakfast. You want some eggs? Don't want some eggs. Why don't you put your fucking pants on? It was way a long time. I thought a lot about her. Ten years, you thought about Janice? There are men in the camp better looking at my sister. Each his own, Tony. Each his own. I hope you're not thinking about moving in here. It's late. I slept over. We're taking it slow, okay? We're picking up where we left off. Did you go see Beansy? Fucking paraplegic. Why don't you make him some fucking eggs? Hello? What do you want for breakfast? You don't wake up till lunch, Mom. Tomorrow I'll get up earlier, right? How about the peppers and eggs on the round bread? Yeah. That sounds great, Mom. Okay. We cannot let her do this. <laughs> hey, Uncle Junior. I thought you guys might like some salami and eggs. Always thinking. He's a cop now, like his father, a detective. He's a good egg, your Lou. He was a real straight shooter. He had a lot of class. The vinegar eggplant. From four years ago. Yeah, take some home. Oh, I can't handle the acidity. If you like, I could make us some lunch. And then he goes, you got to work on Columbus Day weekend. Eat eggs, baby. Ace Garage. What do you want again? I don't know. Peppers and eggs. I can't believe it. I fucking love that car. Mayonnaise on your chin. What? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Bio my. 
She was in a fire. She's dead. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. That's why Lois called me. I mean, after four messages, I, I got on the machine. We had the horses, too. Jesus. Oh, look, Tony, I, um... I just made some coffee if you want, you know, eggs. Well, that's, uh... It's good. He'll walk. He'll use his hands. Life goes on, huh? One day at a time. You know, Tone Justin loves my eggs. See, sour cream is a secret ingredient. Right. What sick fuck? What? You know what? Maybe I will have some eggs. Toast? Yeah. Come on, you all right? He barely touched your eggs out. Too much gherkins. Smell that? What? Bernie here. I smell cut grass. Yeah, you know, get them laid. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on. Hey, hey, right. Come on. Pull it come on. Yes, sir. Right. Is he breathing? Get that egg salad out of this. Hurry up! I was being polite. It's like, it's like eating red fescue. I'll take an egg. You want an egg? Bobby, make my nephew an egg. I don't want an egg. I think I'll take an egg. Make us a couple eggs. I'm doing it. You told me. He don't want one. You and Tony Egg again. Tony Egg. Tony B. There he is. What I saw on TV last night. Sit down. Sit. Come on. I made eggs. Steaks and Newport fries. Scrambled eggs, no oil, tomato slices. So are you uh, mentally prepared for this promotion? How's our steak? It's OK. Well. Hun. Yeah? Another steak sand over here? Rare? Coming up. Is he up? Need to talk to him. I brought him a steak. You can put it with his eggs like he likes. Actually, your wife's here. She's making him something to eat. Karen, something happened? Okay, June, you got everything? Thank you, dear. You've been wonderful. Get the hell out of here. I'm gonna talk to my uncle. All right, come on. Have something to eat. Hello. It's me, Dad. What's up, Bobby? Mom tried to call you. She wants you to pick up some steaks and eggplants before you come home. She can't do it? I'm stuck in traffic. Now I gotta go to the store. That day, when she had the accident, I was stuck in traffic. And my son called because Karen wanted me to pick up steaks and eggplants. And I was mad at her for sending me. I was tired. <laughs> Look at this. The fifth question, and the poor prick used all his lifelines. John goes. Carmine's going to position himself for maximum deniability. Sound great. Ronnie, I'll go make some lunch, some egg salad. 
Great. You hungry? No. Go light on the mayo. Look. Here, I made it with a lot of milk and sugar. It's more comforting that way. You sure you don't want some eggs or an English or something? You're coming back. I hope so. Immigration, they make problems. Get your cows from in there. Sit down and eat before it gets any colder. I'm eating. Okay, boy, you're not. How about some egg beaters in Tabasco? That's fine. Didn't I tell you I hate this shout between rooms shit? Get a great rate on an ocean view. You know you're getting a divorce, and I see you less than before. I didn't say no. I just want your undivided attention for once. Is it so much to fucking ask for a little bit of attention? You want some eggs? I need to clear my head. I can't even sleep. This is a lot to process, Adrian. I gotta think. Come on, little poorly, everybody. I'm gonna buy you an egg cream. Come on. I never had an egg cream. You live your whole life in a place and never taste the thing that it's famous for. was your meal ticket? The goose with the golden eggs. Look at this place. Who set you up here? Not that fucking brother of mine, or Rose. Yeah. Ben Kingsley passed. Fuck. You ever buy eggs from Caputo? Frankly, I'm not wild about the smell in there. Let me tell you. His eggs taste 10 times better than any of the ones you get in the supermarket. Chicken stew. Senora. You know, I've been meaning to ask you, chicken or the egg? You want to weigh in? That same stupid joke, huh? How are you? Good, good. He sold the building. I got a kid in college. Where are my fucking eggs? Remember the Penguin movie? How you cried? You sit on an egg for months, one little thing goes wrong, you're left with nothing. Honey, I'm not Adriana. I'm healthy, our baby's healthy. Stop worrying and enjoy this time, okay? I am. Let's just stop counting the chickens. You want some lunch? I got eggplant. No, no, I just ate. Here, eat your eggplant. I told you I already ate lunch. Some eggplant. I told you. I'm not hungry. Now you won't even accept food from your own mother. Help you? Salami sub. Hold the mayo. We're out of mayo. Mr. Miller, my science teacher, he got his car stolen. You're kidding. From where? His house? Mm -mm. Right from his parking spot at school. Oh, a Saturn. He only had it like a year. Those security people at the school are a joke. Did you hear what Anthony Jr. just said? Mr. Miller's car got stolen. How'd you get $10 a week? Cash. No more. Till you get your card back. For gas.
Okay, thanks. It was a fucking blast. You sure you don't want to eat? Steak and eggs up by Skyways. Oh, I can't. Come on, shut the door. I'm gonna mind you and hit the sack for the next 14 hours. They told